Let's talk about what a BMS is. A BMS, and this is an example of a BMS, is a battery management system. And you'll find them often inside of a lithium battery pack. And if you look inside the hood, you'll see you've got your battery pack, and then over here in the corner, where you might not see it, is a BMS. This battery management system does a lot of cool stuff. The first thing is, it protects the battery from being over discharged. It protects the battery from being overcharged. Inside of the battery pack, normally for 12 volt, you have four cells. So it makes sure if they were all buckets of water that they all stay level. So one doesn't charge faster than the other. It's also got some temperature sensors on it that will make sure the battery uh, isn't damaged due to charging in low temperature or high temperature situations. And if you've got a, a cool BMS like we make, Bluetooth and an app so you can connect from your phone. And oftentimes too, they'll have communication ports in case you want to connect multiple batteries together. Let's talk about how a BMS measures the state of a battery's charge. I'll go back to AGM for a second. If you look at a lead acid battery, when it's fully charged, it's around 13 volts, but as the power goes down, it goes down in a linear fashion. It goes 12.9, 12.8, 12.7, until it's flat at around 10.5, completely flat. So you can use a voltmeter to measure that. But with lithium, the power starts out around 13 volts, but it will stay there and only go down slightly. And at the end, it will just drop off. For the older people out there, um, you remember the old NICAD batteries in the Walkman that it would get slower and slower at the end. That's because they were similar to a lead acid type of battery in the discharge curve. But if you had a Walkman with a lithium battery, it would go forever and then it would just stop. So how are we going to know how much power is inside? Well, the BMS does something really cool. If it knows the capacity of the battery and it knows how much power you're putting in, and how much power you're taking out, it will then let you know what the state of charge is. And a way I like to explain that to people is if you think of a service station, a truck comes in, it pumps the tank full with a thousand liters of fuel. And when you pump the fuel out, if you take 500 liters out, they know there's roughly 500 liters left in the tank. So the BMS performs that function. And through your Bluetooth app, and on here is this little, little circuit here, you can see the state of charge, you can see the voltage, you can see the temperature and everything I've talked about. What we've done at Kickass though, is we've also made a remote screen. And why did I do that? That actually connects to the BMS as well. We've done that because you don't always want to get your phone out to find out the status of your battery and open the app. And it's great to do that. Sometimes you might just want to install this near the door or somewhere that's convenient, push a button and see what's going on. So the BMS can communicate with the screen as well. A lot of people don't see that value inside of a lithium battery because all they see is a black box. But we were talking about AGM earlier, it doesn't have any of those protections built in and you can over discharge it or overcharge it. Um, so you have to go and buy an external device for that. This has got value. Like if you went and bought a DC charger or an AC charger, you'd be happy to pay 200 or 300 or $400 for it. But a lot of people don't see that there's a device just as complicated built in. One thing that's important to mention is that all BMSs are not created equal and you normally can't see them, right? And a lot of people don't even know what the difference between them are. And this is why sellers can get away by making really cheap lithium batteries. They put cheap or recycled cells in and they put BMSs that aren't capable of handling high currents. What do you mean by that, Clayton? Well, what I mean, we'll go back to the water the water explanation that I like to use. If you had a bucket of water that was a 100 litre bucket of water and you had a BMS that was a 50 litre per hour BMS or a 50 amp BMS, then you could only take 50 of those litres out per hour or the BMS would shut down. So if you want to run a high powered inverter or something similar, if you had a 100 amp hour BMS, for example, you could take that 100 litres out in an hour. And remember, the numbers I'm giving you are just to give you a guide and to help you understand the concepts. So it's always worth checking the current capability on the BMS. How many temperature sensors does it have? Does it have a remote screen? Does it have Bluetooth? What are the functions and capabilities of a BMS? Uh, and so 
I hope that really helps you understand what actually secretly lives inside of these lithium battery packs. And remember, this also makes lithium safe by protecting your batteries from overcharge and over discharge. Any questions, put them below on that one.